us a, a little bit of an emotional, smiley story this morning, Sarah. Yeah, good morning, guys. You know there are those dark and stormy clouds, the rain belts down, and you wonder just what is Mother Nature doing to you? And then there's that small break in the clouds, and the, the rain stops, and the sun re-emerges, and the sight of a rainbow in the sky emerges, and it lifts you up and brightens your day. And that is the world for 10-year-old Miranda. She has a condition called microcephaly. And I had the pleasure to meet her and her mom, Crystal, in Regina yesterday. And sometimes there are no words you just need to hear. Microcephaly means that um, she was a infant. So somewhere in the first six months of life, her brain stopped growing. When your brain stops growing, uh, your skull stops growing because the brain is not growing. It's not pushing out on the bones in the skull. And so your head stops growing and it causes a whole host of other problems. Um, developmental delays. So that's in all areas of development. Um, mental and cognitive. Fine motor. Um, gross motor skills. So how you walk, how you balance, how you speak. Um, and um, it causes seizures and extreme hyperactivity and other medical problems. Now, despite a near lifetime now of hospital visits, specialists, tests, and everything else that comes with it, the thing that comforts, inspires, brings a smile, connects people in Miranda's world is rainbows. So with big thanks to her brownie leader, Annie, who started the Miranda's Rainbow Connection Facebook page, Miranda has literally begun receiving hundreds of rainbows every day from around the world. It's always a Miranda under the rainbows. It makes me, it, honestly, it makes me want to cry. The, the Shoppers Drug Mart on Park Street is happily coping with all of this mail every day. And they're, they're their own franchise. They don't have to do this. They're doing that by themselves. And, and just speaking to Miranda's mom, Crystal, she said it's so overwhelming. This people don't know them. They don't know Miranda. It's simply a Facebook page. And they're coming in from Japan, from Australia, from New Zealand. They are everywhere in the house. It's so uplifting that, that people, strangers, are doing this for them. Good. <laughs> so I, I can't try, say anything right I'm now. I'm trying not to cry. <laughs> this is absolutely incredible. Because yeah. how... How how is being there with her? What is she what is she like? She's adorable on She is yeah. adorable. And she just we just sat on the floor together. I held I, I didn't obviously when you you know, you do your job with, with children like this, you're not you're not shoving the microphone in their face. So we just sat on the floor, surrounded by sparkly um, you know how you can put the sparkly stars in cars so you open the envelope and all the stars. Lots of people are doing that and Crystal oh. laughed and said they're, just, <laughs> they're everywhere on the carpet. She said, forgive me, I haven't cleaned. I said, no, it looks, it looks great. It's wow. like rainbow bright and exploded in here. It's fantastic. So we just, yeah, we sat on the floor and she went through hundreds and hundreds, all handmade from kids of different ages, from adults. So if people want to, sorry, Jay, if people want to send in a, uh, a rainbow to her, how yeah, can they do 20, that, Yeah, 2028 Park Street, Regina, Saskatchewan, S4N2G6. I believe it's on our website, and if it isn't, it will be very short. I'll provide information. Yeah, uh, just, yeah, one of those stories is just a pleasure to tell. Milton, thanks for bringing it to us this morning. We appreciate it. 6.54.